The Word for Today, written by Bob and Debbie Gass. Prayer can change your life. Prayer is simply communicating with God, and communication can be spoken or silent. It can even be expressed in song. Many of the Psalms are just prayers set to music. Prayer is connecting with God. Whether it's confessing a sin, praising his name, pursuing his will, interceding for a friend, or petitioning for your own needs, your prayer must be God-centered, never self-centered. Sincere prayer comes from a heart that longs for God to reveal what he desires. So you must allow adequate time for listening and waiting intently for your Heavenly Father. And prayer must be your first priority. Paul instructs Timothy, I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made. 1 Timothy 2 verse 1. Note the words, first of all. Before you slide out of bed, before you take a shower, before you make your way to work, and before your first appointment, pray, pray, pray. Every afternoon at 3 o'clock, Peter and John went to the temple to pray. In the middle of the day, they interrupted their schedule together for one purpose, prayer. So when your day is rolling along at its own pace and in its own direction, interrupt it with prayer. As your day builds towards a crisis, deliberately stop to pray. When your morning begins to go south, pull away for a few moments of solitude to seek God's mind and ask for his instruction. When your attitude starts to soar, pause for an attitude adjustment prompted by prayer. Don't wait, pray immediately. Make prayer your first priority in all things and at all times. If you do, you'll find that prayer changes your life for the better.